Hi, this is Ashley Fandino with Catherine's Garden, and today we're going to show you how to make rose hip syrup. To make rose hip syrup, we're going to need to use fresh rose hips. Here we have two cups of rose hips that have already been rinsed, destemmed, and cut in half. We have about a half a cup of water, a half a cup of sugar, and a half a cup of honey to taste. We're going to need to combine our ingredients into a saucepan such as this. Let it simmer or boil for about 20 minutes or until the liquid has been reduced by half. Now that our liquid has reduced by half, what we need to do is stir it cut the heat off and just let it sit and cool for a while. Now we're ready to strain our syrup. Your syrup doesn't need to be too cool that it's too thick to strain, nor does it need to be too hot that it'll burn your hands. What we're using here is a cloth diaper, but you can also use a cheesecloth, a jelly bag, or a pillowcase. We have our bowl here. You want to just lay the cloth into the bowl and then pour your syrup gently into your cloth. Once you've poured your syrup into your cloth, you may want to let it sit for a few more minutes just to let it cool off enough to handle with your hands. Once it has cooled, you're going to pick up the corners of your cloth and simply squeeze your syrup out of the bottom of your cloth. You're going to want to make sure to get all of those juices out of your, out of your syrup. Rinse your hands off because they're going to be sticky. Now we're going to add our honey to taste. Just add it in there. Stir it with a spoon till it's mixed well. You're now ready to pour your syrup into your favorite syrup container. This syrup makes a great addition to your pancakes or to flavor your teas. You can store it in the refrigerator for several weeks if it lasts that long. This has been Ashley Fandino with Catherine's Garden and this is how to make rose hip syrup. 